Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2011 Porsche Cayenne Turbo. It's silver in colour with black leather interior. The Turbo came with a lot of options as standard and in addition to that this also has side steps and the carbon fibre package. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. It's only done 91,000 kilometres since it was brand new. It's got the 18-way electric leather seats. And it's got the 4.8 litre twin turbo engine. It's got memory electric seats on the driver's and passenger side. It does have the adjustable suspension where you can change it from the shock absorbers from comfort to sport very easily. You can even adjust the height. It's on the lowest setting at the moment. Uh, the turbo also came with the quad exhaust pipes that look fantastic and they're actually quite rare. Most of the KN sold, as you've probably seen, are turbo, uh, 3 litre turbo diesels. It's absolutely beautiful. Looks like it's had every service done at a Porsche dealership. It's got heated seats in the front, heated seats in the back. I mean, the back quite literally does not look like it's been used. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. You can't see any little dents in the leather from a baby seat. It's got a Bose sound system, Bluetooth, navigation, a leather dash. and I think is in very good condition and great value for money. Looks like it's got the yeah, 18 way electric memory seats. So it's got navigation. You've got navigation in the center console, but you've also got it on the instrument cluster to the far right. It's got the eight speed automatic transmission as far as I know. Xenon headlights, obviously, daytime running lights, a sunroof. It's got the blackout package as well. So instead of having the chrome, chrome strips, they're black. But if you've been looking for a KN Turbo from 2010 onwards, this car you should definitely come and have a look at. It drives absolutely perfectly. I have driven it. I do have a KN. Um, unfortunately, mine is the turbo diesel version. Um, but mine does have the adjustable suspension. And uh, I can say that everything does work perfectly. It's silky smooth to drive. It's had what looked to be every single service done at a Porsche dealership from new. Um, it says the average fuel consumption on the uh, trip meters, 14.8 liters per 100 Ks, which is excellent. I'd say it's probably done a bit of freeway work as well, this car, but it's absolutely excellent. It's 0 to 104.7 seconds. So staggering performance. And what's so good about these cars is you've got the utility of a family car with the performance of a race car. And when you're sitting in it looking at the, the dash, you could be sitting in a 911. I think that the original Porsche Cayenne was a Porsche's first attempt at making an SUV which was actually a pretty good car this is just even better I mean I guess the same was for Mercedes their first ML the 163 was okay again it was their sort of first attempt at making the ML series um, and the second generation was infinitely better so if you look here you've got navig color navigation Bluetooth you've got your heated seats you can see the suspension's on low at the moment, again, at the click of a button. We can put on the normal setting, comfort, sport modes. So with this, you've got basically an off-road mode in the first click. And then if you click it again, it actually locks your centre differential. They pretty much did away with low range after the previous model in light of the fact no one took them off-road and you were carrying around a few hundred kilograms unnecessarily. 
Um, I believe there is an option uh, to get low range. There certainly is on the Volkswagen Touareg, but I've certainly not seen one. So again, in the instrument cluster over this side, you've got your mapping as well. Lane change assist, electric fold-in mirrors, carbon fibre package on the steering wheel. Got a leather stitched centre armrest. Hill descent control, if you press sport it holds it in gear. Long gun I believe it's got a, a valve in the exhaust system. I'll just see. Yeah, it certainly does seem to make a difference. But it's also very easy to drive. Like in normal driving, the car doesn't sort of lurch forward, eager to, to sort of, you know, get to 100 in a few seconds. You can drive it sedately, or if you want it to, to go quickly and be touchy with the accelerator, you can certainly press sport. You can drive around town if you really wanted to. You can even take it to a racetrack and be taken seriously. I mean, look at the size of those brakes. Porsche really are moving ahead in leaps and bounds compared to where they were in the 70s, 80s and the 90s. You know, when they were trying, you know, when they had the 911, they brought out the 924 and the 944 and then the 9. 68928 they were going to drop the 911 altogether when they realized the 944 and 68 etc was a bit of a mistake they went they really started putting the production team together with the 911 which has become again a huge success um, along with the Boxster Cayman and the KN you know they probably contacted a lot of their owners and said what's your other car and they said oh we've got a Range Rover We've got a Land Cruiser. We've got a Mercedes ML. And they said, really? They bought out a KN. But despite being an SUV, we've still got everything you love about Porsche. Absolute quality. And reliability. Porsches make some of the most reliable cars on the road. Just ask someone who owns one. And a lot of people say, oh, I feel that, you know, it's just a Volkswagen, this car. And I said, well... Well, you know, this is actually a Porsche motor, the 4.8. Admittedly, my diesel, someone says it's a Volkswagen, I, I'm not going to disagree. But uh, certainly the 4.8 non-turbo and 4.8 turbos are Porsches. And, uh, you know, if you walked up to it blindfolded and sat in it, you know you're in a Porsche with the Porsche seats. They're just absolutely incredible. If you'd like to have a closer look at the car or if you do have any specific questions, you can contact us on 029569999. We can help you with finance. We can send the car into state. We'd certainly welcome the opportunity to take you for a test drive. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We certainly do look forward to hearing you from you soon. We've been doing this since 1994. We specialise in European cars and we do have about 70 vehicles in stock at the present time.